Well, good morning, guys. I'm glad to have you back with me. Today's story is about Queen Esther saving the Jews. When Persian king Xerxes went looking for a beautiful bride, it didn't take him long to find Esther. She wasn't just pretty, she was smart, kind, and something else the king didn't know. Esther was a Jew, one of God's chosen people, which wasn't a problem until the king was tricked into signing a law that every Jew in Persia was to be killed. When Esther found out about the new law, she had to decide. Would she tell the king she was a Jew and maybe die, or hide or who, was she, who she was? Esther's uncle told her that maybe God put her close to the king so she could save her people. Even though it was dangerous, God had her exactly where she needed to be. Esther took a deep breath, marched to the throne room, and told the king. And he changed the law. Phew! God used Esther to save her people. That's from Esther 5 and 8. So, you've got a circle of friends, some you know well, some you hardly know at all. On this set of circles that I'll show you in a minute, you're in the middle. Put the names of your closest friends in the circle closest to you. Your sort of friends in the next circle, and then your kind of sort of friends in the next circle. You get the idea. Here's the circle. God puts you in your circle of friends for a reason. So how might God use you to help your friends become closer friends of God too? As you look at the names you wrote, ask God how he might use you to help your friends become better friends of God. It's instant sculpture time. You're going to put people in their place for real. Ask friends or family members to stand and then, one at a time, turn them into human sculptures by posing, posing them. Their job is to freeze in place. Your job is to make your mom look like the thinker and your little sister smile like the Mona Lisa. But be nice, because they'll get a chance to pose you, too. And yes, this is most definitely a pull out the phone and take pictures moment. Friends and family tell each other the important stuff. So from the Bible, I'm going to talk to you about, did you know? What is providence? Providence is a word used to describe God's control over everything that happens. God does not need to use miracles to help his people because he can control events in a way that seems very natural and normal. God had control of all the events of Esther 6, even something so ordinary as King Xerxes' sleeplessness. And God used all of the events to help his people. So this week, think about ways that you can lead your friends to Jesus. Tell them about him and tell, him, tell them how good this guy named Jesus is. Even if it's one friend that you lead, um, it's, it, it's fine, because um, we're one or more gathered um, in Jesus' name. So you just remember all of that and try to work on that this week. I'll see you next week, and I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you soon.